Alrighty guys, so here's another quick little video. So we obviously know that fruits and vegetables can make good snacks when in a cut. When you're in a caloric deficit, you're trying to lose weight. But another one, another one that no one really thinks about, which is kind of good depending on how you want to take it, hard boiled eggs, 60 calories per egg, 6 grams of protein, you know, one egg can be pretty filling for some people sometimes you know there's there's days i'll have hard boiled eggs as a snack i'll eat two of them 120 calories for a snack and i will feel fucking stuffed for like an hour or two sometimes two hours sometimes even just 30 minutes you know and it's a great kind of pass me over thing you know like oh you know i'm, I'm kind of hungry i could snack a little bit boom hard boiled egg motherfucker and then, also, another best friend, mustard. Oh. Oh. You know, I'm willing to bet if you paired like low calorie fruit with some hard boiled eggs, varied out to the day, maybe have them at the same time, maybe you don't. You know, one snack is a hard boiled egg, one snack is a fruit. You know, you, you, you might find yourself that you're full all the time. And what a lot of people don't do in their diet is they don't, they don't set up amount of calories for snacks. You know, if you set up 100 to 400 calories, if you have enough enough calories in your diet to do that just for snacks like healthy snacks i'm not talking junk food i'm talking like healthy as possible hard boiled eggs fruits vegetables some protein bars if you throw some snacks in there and set some of your calories aside specifically for snacks so calories aside specifically for snacks after the day if you're constantly snacking in between meals you're gonna feel fucking full especially if they're low calorie and they're dense foods like this is not really a dense, low-calorie food. It's just a low-calorie snack. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's it's kind of, it, you know, it, it makes a good little like you know snack because you know six grams of protein, 60 calories per egg. I don't remember the carbs or fat, but um, sorry, I'm eating during the vehicle or during the video in my vehicle. Oh, no, but good little tips, you know? Tips, tricks. Uh, what's another good one? Pickles. You know, pi uh, there's a lot of jar jar pickles that'll say zero calories per pickle slice. Yeah, that's not exactly true. There is some calories in there. You know, maybe one, two, three, four, five calories. Who knows? I'm, I'm not for sure exactly on the science. But there is some calories in pickles, you know? That's like saying... That's like saying coffee has no calories. It it can have calories if I could be mistaken, but it can have calories if you drink enough of it. Just like cucumber, which is before you pickle it, it's a cucumber. So a cucumber has calories, a onion has calories, you know, fucking watermelon, fucking you know, anything in the world has calories that you eat. <coughs> Even mustard has has calories, you know? I can, let me see, no. okay, this one may not, because it says zero, 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 but if you Google it, it'll actually tell you how many fucking calories are per serving of mustard, but, um, you know, it's, it's a matter of, Finding what snacks work for you. So for instance, for today I am working from 10 p.m. So this is my second job. I went from the 2 to 10 straight into the 10 to 8 a.m. shift. So out of the day, I'm going to be eating these at work. And then I'm going to go home, get 7-8 hours of sleep, get up, and then I'm going to figure out something else for a snack for tomorrow. But guys get what I'm saying? 
if you can find a way to fit snacks in. Healthy snacks, not fucking junk food, you dirty motherfucker. <laughs> but, um, healthy food. Fruits, veggies, low-protein snacks. You know, you can fucking... You can stick to a diet, even if it's fucking 2,000 calories, 2,500. Even if you're in an 1,800-calorie diet, if you figure out how to do it, you can do it. You know, it's, it's not that hard to se, but it's mentally fatiguing because your body's like, oh, I'm not eating as much as, as I was, so now I'm hungry, send the ghrelin, send the hormones, make this motherfucker eat until we can get to homeostasis. And eventually your body's gonna come down and be like, oh, you know, we're not homeostasis, we're not gonna send the ghrelin, uh, we're losing weight. <coughs> we went from, example, we went from 260 to 240 from eating 3,000 to 500 calories. So now, of course, the weight's gonna slow down from one pound per week to three quarters of a pound, to two quarters of a pound eventually, to one quarter of a pound eventually, you're losing no weight per week because your body's coming to homeostasis and it has the metabolism has slowed down, not because you did something wrong, but because your body is losing weight and it no longer needs that higher calorie to sustain the body mass that you were once at. And 2,500 will now sustain the new body mass. To give you an example, I know my numbers, 260 to 240 is off. You can still keep losing weight. I'm not exactly sure, I'm not a math whiz. But you get the basic principle. It's not because you did something wrong while your metabolism was fucked up. It's because you, your body's now getting to a it's, it's new homeostasis, which takes less calories to sustain. So, which means you're gonna burn less fat, or you're gonna burn less calories. My bad, I got that wrong. So, yeah, so you're gonna burn, or you're gonna consume less calories, and you're also gonna burn less calories when you do exercises. So, example, like let's say you lift weights for an hour, and it only burns at 260, it only burns 350 calories. Now, at 240, it might only burn. 250 to 300 calories per weight training session, if that. Remember, weight training does not burn a lot of calories. But hopefully this was a little trick about, about your metabolism and snacks, because motherfucker, you're gonna need it. But yeah, I can constantly snack out the day. Hold, hold up, if you can do it. Not most people can do it. So most people, they snack and they can't stop. They get that ghrelin, they get that hungry, and they're like, yeah, motherfucker, feed me, bitch. And they just keep stuff in their fucking faces, you know. And some people, you know, they can eat. So, like, example, they can eat at 12 o'clock. And then, to give you an example, it's 141. They can have a snack, like I did, hard-boiled egg. And they'll be pretty good until the next few hours, you know. If you eat every four hours, every four to five hours, you know, even four to six hours, if you're snacking in between that, you're, you're going to, you know, have some... Not fullness, but you're gonna have some like satisfaction out of it, and it's gonna kind of sustain you into that next meal. And then you're gonna be like, oh my god, I'm starting to get fuller. And eventually, after so many snacks and so many meals, you're gonna feel stuffed. <coughs> Excuse me, but healthy snacks, healthy calories, smart snacking, and spread it out through the day is the key. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, tell me what you think. Tell me if I'm stupid. All comments welcome. Enjoy.